Castor oil has a long history of use, possibly even dating back to your grandparents' time. If you've stumbled upon this video, chances are you've encountered claims circulating online about castor oil's potential benefits for eye health, including its supposed effectiveness in addressing dry eyes, improving eyelashes, reducing eye bags, and even treating conditions like cataracts and eye floaters. But does it actually deliver on these claims? I've delved into the research to uncover the truth. And here's what I've discovered. And let me tell you, there are some fascinating insights about castor oil and its relationship with eye health. Firstly, let's address its use for dry eyes, a context in which many eye care professionals are familiar with castor oil. It's commonly found in over-the-counter eye drops and has even been incorporated into prescription medications like Restasis for managing dry eye symptoms. Castor oil's mechanism of action involves preventing the tear film from evaporating too quickly and providing additional lubrication to reduce friction between the eyelid and the eyeball, which can alleviate discomfort associated with dry eyes. One study showcased significant improvements in both the symptoms and signs of dry eye after using eye drops containing castor oil six times daily for two weeks. Participants experienced a more stable tear film and fewer issues related to meibomian gland dysfunction, a common problem involving clogged oil glands on the eyelids. However, it's worth noting that these drops didn't contain 100% castor oil, but rather a diluted form. This leads to the question, why not use pure castor oil directly on the eye? Well, there are safety concerns associated with that, which I'll address shortly. Moving on to another intriguing area of research, a study conducted in 2021 explored the use of 100% cold-pressed castor oil as a treatment for blepharitis an inflammatory condition affecting the eyelids and eyelashes. Applying castor oil to the eyelids, just outside the lash line, twice daily for four weeks resulted in significant improvements in blepharitis symptoms and signs. This included a reduction in lid margin thickness, telangiectasia, spider veins on the eyelid surface, matarosis, eyelash loss, eyelash crusting, and lid wiper epitheliopathy. So, What's the verdict on castor oil's broader claims in eye care? While there's promising evidence supporting its efficacy for conditions like dry eyes and blepharitis, there's still a lack of robust scientific studies examining its effects on other eye issues like eye bags, eyelash growth, cataracts, and eye floaters. While some anecdotal evidence exists, more research is needed to validate these claims conclusively. If you have personal experiences with using castor oil for eye health, feel free to share them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. The focus of this video was to determine whether castor oil could effectively absorb into the ocular tissues. Given that both cataracts and eye floaters develop in deep structures within the eye, such as the vitreous humor, I delved into pharmacokinetic research to ascertain the feasibility of castor oil penetrating these regions. While some of the literature proved challenging to decipher, it appears highly improbable for castor oil to reach such depths within the eye, surpassing barriers like the cornea, conjunctiva, sclera, and blood vessels. Despite its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, the likelihood of castor oil preventing conditions like cataracts or alleviating eye floaters seems remote. Any observed improvements in eyesight from castor oil usage are more plausibly attributed to a placebo effect or its treatment of dry eye symptoms. Regarding safety concerns, it's imperative to consider concentration levels. Studies utilizing castor oil in eye drop formulations always dilute it to approximately 2% due to its thick consistency, which could otherwise cause blurry vision and irritation. Moreover, High concentrations of castor oil have shown cytotoxic effects on conjunctival cells, potentially leading to irritation and damage. Additionally, concerns arise about the storage conditions of castor oil, as fluctuations in temperature can alter its pH level, increasing the risk of eye irritation. Moreover, non-regulated store-bought castor oil may contain impurities, posing risks of infection or other complications when applied to the eye. Consequently, seeking professional guidance from a healthcare provider before using castor oil in the eye is essential to ensure safety and proper documentation of any observed benefits or adverse effects. 
In conclusion, while some studies suggest potential benefits of castor oil for eyelid health in conditions like blepharitis, and for managing dry eye syndrome with diluted formulations, caution is warranted regarding its direct application to the eyes. Your feedback on personal experiences with castor oil and any related inquiries are welcome in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I hope you take away valuable knowledge from this information.